what's up designers welcome back to the channel and i hope you guys are doing absolutely fine today we are talking about five different tips and tricks that you can try with pixel lab for your graphic design also there are two videos already up to this channel so be sure you watch them after this video and before i get to this video i think you should join the telegram group that i have created and where we will be getting a lot of stuff like project files, PNGs, images, background, fonts and a lot of help from my side. So be sure you search for Amazing Play YT on Telegram app and join the group and be the part of Amazing Play family. Without any more missing time now, let's get started with the video, the best design trips and tricks that you can try with Pixel app. Let's get started. going to see a slice text effect you some of you might be knowing this uh, effect but some of you don't so here it is like how you can slice off text into two parts and make a very good cool effect out of it so here uh, we are on the telegram app we have two text layers over here and on to a very good background that i have already shared on to you on to my telegram group so what i'll do is we will search for this effect called mask so here we have a mask and we will select it we will make it into a bigger shape so we will get it out of the text and expand the size of it so while you're doing something like this be sure you will be able to cover the whole uh, shape of your text and uh, you will have some kind of straight lines so you can create slice effect once you do that put it onto your uh, text that you want to create a slight effect of and adjust the angle of the slice cut from here you can as you can see I have I'm like doing the cut things and yeah this is the settings and this is how we look so once you do that copy this layer once again and now so go to the mask settings once again so I will go and check out this mask setting and now I will do just out option you know I will just select the out option and I will get the other part of the image the part of the text and I can put them all together and this will look like this now obviously you can add a lot of text slice effect you can add uh, you know some cool slicing of the effects you can do a lot of stuff with your own imagination and uh, this is how we will look, look like you can al always add shadows effect to enhance the slice effect that you have created I will recommend you don't do it overdo it with all your text like do the one or two text and this is how we look or maybe you can select one part of the design and change the color of it to something else. So yeah, that's a pretty much good effect that you can try and it will look very good if you do it in the right way. And here I am some doing some settings, adding some shadow effects to enhance the slice text effect. Be sure to put back and forward the, all the shadow effects that you will get for your text. You might add it on before uh, you know slicing of the text and you can add it after the slicing of the text. It's your, it's your call. And uh, now we will check out uh, maybe that adding different color to the half text. So how it will look and maybe you can change the change the colors to the multiple of your background. You choose the color from your background and here it is. So yeah, so let's put on the color contrast a bit. Yeah, here you go. This is how it looks and this is looks much better. So be sure you do this text effect and maybe you can try it out with your thumbnails, your designs, your posters, anything that you can create a cool out of. It's, it's amazing and I think you should try them with your pixel app. It's, it's very good to know that you shouldn't, that you know that the slice effect text can help you sometimes. So be sure you do that and this is the first tip that I have. Okay, the second effect that we are going to try is 3D shapes, adding 3D shapes to your design. I know you guys know that we have a very good feature called 3D shapes. So we will apply the 3D shape effect to this thing over here and I have been using 3D shapes since so long. So I think you should check out all the you know images I have uploaded onto my tele, uh, Instagram channel sorry. And on the Instagram page I have uploaded some things that are considered, considered as a 3D shapes. So one of the things that you can try with 3D shapes and 3D you know, images in general is that it will showcase your design in a much better way and it will you will come out as more professional if you use the shape into the right way. So here I am applying the 3D shadows and 3D rotation just you know, put back and forward to the settings and how you want your 3D shape to look like. 
so like i want the depth to be a little low and i just want it to look like a card and uh, yeah i will put on some oblique thing this is not working so perspective is good and i think uh, uh, you should not go with the more default setting that the pixel is offering just put back and forward how the darkness of the side effects that you want uh, let's say i want to have this like this this is how it looks so and also there is like emboss effect that you can try and apply it right into the right way so the, the the thing that you can go with is like know what the background is and where the light is coming from the background so the lightest part the light color part will be your way for the light and you should put the light effect on the on the particular background on the particular background so with that uh, you know adjust the ambience and spectacular harness as as you like like it depends on how the how the uh, the shape looks like and what is the background looks like so in my case i know that how i wanted to look my 3d shape off so that's what i'm doing right now and uh, adding some you know no uh, saturation brightness and contrast will enhance the overall 3d shape be sure you try all those settings with your 3d shapes no and and this is just the only one thing that i'm trying out on the on the pixel lab you can try multiple types of pngs fonts logos your designs and it will really look good if you do that onto your 3d shape so be sure you try this tips on your graphic design i think it looks much better and uh, if you're not doing 3d shapes or 3d designs you're missing out on something so here i did like i added a text and added a 3d shadow effect onto that text and uh, you know reduced the opacity of that text to zero so i only have the shadow of the text and that shadow i can use it for my 3d shape so that's a very good uh, you know tip again a small tip for you to add 3d shadows and yeah you can uh, play around with the shadows uh, settings and this is how it will look like so it's a very good thing you can try multiple things you know multiple as i said multiple pngs and uh, create your own imagination and how you will use the 3d uh, shape onto your image and how it will look like so be sure you try this thing out once at least and know that how much you know of 3d you no know, shapes about it so yeah this is how i create and this is how i have been using 3d shapes onto my designs onto my instagram page so be sure you uh, you know practice this 3d shadow effect and add it to your designs this is this is like a very good thing that you should learn about and pixel lab is offering us all the settings so yeah be sure you text you know just check it out so be sure you try this effect out onto the pixel lab and let's get on to the next pixel lab effect the third tip and trick that i'm going to suggest you that how you can use the draw pen tool no so here i am on the pixel lab and i have a text over here and a image and a background as you can see on the screen that's all i have now once you unselect everything from the layers you will be able to see a draw option over here on the pixel lab now this is the pen tool and a pen tool is a very good thing that you will have and use it if you can use it in a very good way it can create a create a very good effect onto your design in general so for now i am going to be using and creating some outlines for my text and image and i have used it onto my thumbnail so i just wanted to know that you can use them too and create some well good you no know, effect out of it so here i am you no know, uh, use these uh, settings like pen size and smoothness and draw around your text like this you know be uh, once you are happy with that also if you are not happy with anything that you can uh, you know, can just undo and redo it once again and uh, let me tell you it will need some practice and patience to you to master it now like like photoshop you will need a pen tool to practice and once you practice it or the more practice you more practice you have for the pen tool the more you know good effect that you can create so you should have some patience with using this pen tool and once you just practice it 30 40 times you will know how to create and use this pen tool onto your designs now i'm going to using this onto my image as well you know drawing out the outer part and adding some like you know lining effect onto my image so just like i did with the text i'm going to use the same settings uh, uh, reducing the pen size a bit and and let's see i don't know this is uh, is too hard let's see 3 and yeah this looks good so i'm going to be using and you know drawing around the uh, model around the model image over here 
and let's add some same effect to it like same drawing effects so yeah this is how you can do it and as you can see i have been like uh, failing to create the right angle for this pop effect but uh, i'm practicing practicing it onto the design and uh, it won't come out real good on the first try you will have to try it multiple times so that you can you not know, get create the best yeah so yeah the best way to use this is like practice it now i will around i know try it around and fast forward to what is the design will look like but uh, as you can see and i want to show you that we are, while using this pen tool you will have to have a patience redo and undo this designs once again again and again and uh, you know until you get the right results out of it so i will just fast forward this uh, thing and you will see that how much i have been trying and how much i'm doing the redo thing and uh, yeah you will if you practice it you will get it right and uh, it will look the best if you use it in a right way Now as you can see I have done all the outline effects on this image and uh, this is how it looks like it might look much better if you do it in the right way for, just for the sake of this video and just to show you guys uh, I have done it in a, in a very fast way so yeah this is how it will look like uh, always you can add uh, multiple effects like neon or brightness effects so it will you know you can add multiple things on to this change the color it you know add a neon style to it and uh, yeah this is how it would look like and this is how you can create some real good effect with the pen tool that we have and uh, this is how it look like so be sure you try it out with yourself onto your pixel lab you are using pixel labs for a while now and if you want to add more static element to your designs i think this element is going to be one of the best that you can try and i would you know suggest you or urge you to go and practice this pen tool if you have time for that and it will look and come out very good if you do it in the right way now let's all move on to the next effect that we have so the fourth effect that we are going to look at is something that ha i haven't tried or i haven't actually used onto my designs but uh, it looks really good and it's this effect is actually something that i i am like trying to you know thinking about using it onto my designs and but i haven't quite really used it anywhere actually so if you guys have any ideas using this uh, you know sh uh, effect that i'm going to tell you please let me know and tag it to me onto my instagram maybe upload it to my telegram group or let me know that how will you use this effect to create this effect uh, let me set up some background over here so i'm going to be setting up a gradient background over here uh, you can use any background but there are particular ways you can use this effect so once you add a 3d shape you know uh, just a shape actually and uh, this is how the shape will look like and you will select the color option to that shape now use the gradient option and add some gradient effect to it so let's say i'm going to be adding one color gradient like let's say i'm going to be selecting red over here and i'm going to be selecting some red gradient so this is like the lighter one and the second one is going to be a darker red one now once you select your gradient for your shape now i'm going to be able to copy this i'm going to copy this this effect same effect and uh, this will this will be the same image of the copy of image of that and i will reduce this size a little bit and you know rotate this one to 180 degree now as you can see on the screen and place it on top of this uh, uh, after layer and this is how it will look like so i don't know if you can see it but this look like a 3d button or something and this effect is like kind of a 3d effect but created only using the two gradients and two layers of the same shape size and uh, this look really looks good i have been trying to use this uh, you know uh, effect onto my designs but i haven't quite really uh, i was thinking that i would i could create a real good you know 3d background like using these shapes i could create a abstract background for you guys but let me know if you can use this and this will not only work with uh, you know uh, the circle part you will use this uh, effect with any 
other shape out there available consider one thing that uh, the gradients that you are using should be opposite to each other even if you are not using the shape part of it or you cannot rotate that shape you can always rotate the uh, gradient thing you know just place the lighter gradient to the up opposite side and you will do the thing it will do the thing so maybe you can uh, it can have some real good uh, you know practical use of it uh, uh, for now i am going to be like uh, trying to make out a, a logo here i try i will be trying to you know making out a logo here let's uh, let's add some text onto that 3d shape uh, like this and maybe you can use it for your logos so you guys i will have to select me or suggest me or tag me onto my instagram page that how you can how guys you can create something out of this effect so as you can see that i'm trying out with uh, i'm trying it out with some different objects right here so i'm just like trying out this object which i cannot uh, apparently rotate and uh, yeah to rotate uh, to use this one the user has to go to the gradients and put the gradients like this and opposite to each other and now you can use it once again and create a 3d shadow so yeah this is how it looks like and let me know how you will use it to your designs uh, tag me with your, with your designs on my instagram page and let's move on to the next and last effect that we have for this video so the last but definitely not the least the effect that we have is actually uh, using the pen tool only like uh, the, that we have seen the pen tool but now you can use this uh, with your uh, vectors and your illustration designs not in general with uh, vectors and illustration you can use it with any other design out there but uh, this effect is quite underrated and uh, if you're looking for something like pngs you won't get it so i want you two guys to know this uh, effect and you can use it wherever you want to the basically this effect is actually adding some dots or uh, flakers to your designs so let's say that i have created this uh, you know vector art so i will just select uh, this pen uh, draw tool pen tool and uh, select the pen size and just tap on the screen again and again to create some starry or flickery effects like actually i'm adding stars to the sky on this vector illustration so for that you don't have to go on to the internet and search for stars uh, pngs you can actually create them itself into the pixel lab and uh, it uh, it is actually quite uh, an life saving effect that you can use i have used it into multiple layers and uh, like adding some statical uh, like like some elements kind of a thing onto your designs and yeah this is how you will add stars to it you know uh, maybe change the color uh, change the size of the pen back and forward once again and creating some different shapes and yeah this is how it looks like this is quite a simple trick that i will try but if you're creating vectors arts and everything this effect might be a lifesaver so be sure you you know just uh, try it out and use it and keep in your mind that you can actually have effects like this i'm going to be putting the uh, after and before uh, uh, images over here on this onto the screen so you can see it by yourself and uh, yeah it's a manual thing you can control everything like the amount of stars that you want to have on your on your sky or maybe you can use it onto your some of your designs like i'm going to show you right over here onto my i have a design that i have used this effect actually so yeah like this is my uh, this is my design that i have created with for, for a very good person and uh, i have actually added the starry effects over here no to make out that particular part no particle effect yeah this is it so this is how it looks like i'm also going to be placing this uh, before and after image and yeah this is how it looks like this is all uh, this is the last thing that we have created and and let me know how you will use this effect for your designs so these five were the design tips and tips that i had uh, that i have for you guys you guys to check out there are multiple things that are coming up onto this channel so be sure you stick to this channel and maybe enjoy some more tips and tricks videos from me uh, check out the already uploaded videos onto this channel for poster designs graphic designs uh, banner and everything onto this channel so yeah it's a great uh, way to connect with this graphic design community do consider the telegram thing that i've said in the first to this video and uh, if you did like it any of this effect be sure you like this video to let me know that how i am doing on this in on the youtube channel and videos in general and also if you want to be with me you know we're going to learn something out of graphic design i think you should subscribe to this channel and uh, 
you know just be with me onto this journey of graphic design and uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments what you think actually you can you know ask me any questions i will definitely try to respond to them as soon as possible uh, that's all for today and i think i will catch you guys in my next one